Okay, let's do some gentle yoga today. Feet hip width apart, toes straight ahead, coming into mountain pose, ankles, knees, hips, shoulders lined up. Activate your core, ribs towards your spine and up and lengthen through the spine. Shoulders back and down. And just take a moment to breathe. Remember, let your belly move out as the lungs expand and sink back in as you exhale all the stress. And then inhaling, bring your arms to shoulder level, but keep your shoulders down. Exhale, hands to your heart, elbows back. Inhale, out to the front, shoulders still down. And then clasp your hands behind you and press them to the floor as you lift your heart, a little upper body back bend, stretch your head away. Pivot at your hips, exhale, over. Head toward your legs, hands toward the ceiling, spread your toes out. And just relax, move your chin, letting the neck release a little more. And then bend your knees slightly, <clears throat> start at the bottom of your spine, and wind all the way back up into the back bend. So shoulders down, head back, and chest high. Take a few breaths there, just stretching out through your spine, warming up. And inhale to the top, releasing your arms. As you get back into your mountain pose, just take a moment and notice how your body is working today. And again, inhale, arms to shoulder level, hands to your chest, stretch to the front, and clasp your hands the opposite way behind you. Again, a nice little back bend, lifting your heart, and exhale over. And just deepen as far as you'd like to go. Lift the sitting bones, get your stretch on the back of your legs and spine. And then again, knees bent as you work your way up. Keep that chin slightly in and then lift the heart and up the chin as you come into the back bend. And again, just stretch out through the top of your head, lengthening the whole spine. Inhale upright, release your arms, and just take a moment feeling that energy circulate. Side stretch, so let's do one arm down and the other arm out, palm toward the ceiling, hand above your shoulder. Keep the shoulder down, stretch the fingertips away, and no twist, lean to the side, opening the ribs, lateral motion to the spine. Push the foot you're leaning away from down. Get that whole side opening up more. And then inhale up and release that arm. Feel the difference, so even it out. Arm out, shoulder down, palm to the ceiling. Shoulders still down with that arm right above you. Push the hands away, but shoulders down. Stay facing forward and lean to the other side. Hands sliding down that leg towards your knee. And the foot moving down as you stretch that open side. Take a moment and breathe. Make sure you're not leaning forward. And then inhale up, release that side. Things should be a little bit more even out as we get back into mountain pose. And let's stretch the spine apart for the twist. Arm coming out, palms toward the ceiling, hands above your shoulders. Clasp your elbows, stretch them out, and shoulders down, sitting bones down, spine stretching open, and twist. Take a breath, and keep the arms by your ears as you pivot over in the twist, and just hang. Lift your sitting bones maybe a little more. Take a breath. Exhale and deepen. And keeping your arms by your ears, staying in your twist, work your way up into your upper body for a back bend. And remember, just really gentle on the low back when you're twisting. Take a breath, elbows back, and chest high. Inhale up, exhale around to the center, and switch your arms, balancing things out. And again, stretch that spine apart, and exhale, turning to the opposite side. A breath in, and once more, exhale over. And just deepen as far as you'd like to go into that twist or the position. Keep the weight on both feet as much as you can, and don't forget to breathe. And then on an inhalation, come on back up and lift your heart. 
And again, upper body back bend, pulling those elbows back, but shoulders down. And don't forget to breathe. Inhale, upright. Exhale, round to the center. Shoulders down. Fingertips reaching up toward the ceiling. Let's come up on one side and come up on the opposite toe. So that heel is lifted on that other foot. This foot that's on the side stretching stays down. Again, ribs opening. Exhale that one down, come up on the other side. And again, just maximize that for your body on this side. And then both feet down, both arms up into extended mountain. So shoulders, shoulder blades, sitting bones toward the floor, evenly weighted into your feet with those toes spread, fingertips and head reaching up. And just feel that centered roundedness in the mountain pose. And don't forget to breathe. Keep those ribs toward your spine and up, so don't push the hips forward. And just feel that sensation of fully extended mountain pose. And then turn your hands out to shoulder level, pivot forward, and pause halfway down, stretching everything straight. And then drop into ragdoll, just hanging. Take a breath. Pull the hands behind your legs and pull in a little deeper for even more back stretch. And then release your hands back to the center, tucking your chin slightly and then knees slightly bent. And again, winding up from the bottom of your spine, shoulders back and down and into mountain pose. Take a moment there, just feel what's going on internally. Spread your toes on your favorite balance foot. We'll do our little balance warm up. So keep that core active and supporting your spine. So ribs toward your spine and up, feeling that lengthening. Angle knee, hip, shoulder line up. Make sure you're not turning anything out. And then bring the other foot up. So the toes are spread, not gripping. And you're bringing that leg up so it doesn't cross over. So again, turn it in if you need to. Pull it as close toward your heart as it wants to go and then circle your ankles both ways, get it working, and flex some points, straighten it out, and put the foot back to the floor. Feel what's going on as you're grounded in both sides, and shift to the opposite side. So improve whatever you need to on that second side, using that first side as your guide, and then bringing the other foot up. So again, as high as it wants to go as you come into your balance and make sure that you've lined everything up correctly. Circle that ankle, again, both ways and straighten it out before you put it back down. Take a moment and breathe, exhale in tension. Circle those shoulders just a couple times, down and release. Crown toward the ceiling, hands toward your heart. And inhale, follow your hands up toward the ceiling. Pull your chest up and your hands back, stretch into the back bend. And then exhale, follow your hands, pivoting over. Drop into ragdoll, tuck in, pull in deeper again for a nice back stretch and hands to the front. Slide your hands up under your knees on your shins, a halfway up stretch. Elbows, knees, and spine straight. Spread your toes, stretch it out. Exhale, dropping back to ragdoll, knees slightly bent, palms together. Inhaling, hands to your heart, shoulders down. Keep going up with those hands toward the ceiling and pull them back into an upper body back, then lifting your heart, looking at your thumbs. Exhale, hands to your chest and release. Take a moment as you get there and bring your hands to your spine, one on either side, heel of the palm at your shoulder blades and fingertips down toward your hips. Pull the elbows toward each other and keep the hips over your ankles and pull your chest toward the ceiling. Look up, but don't lift your chin too high. So keep stretching that back of your neck. Just a nice supported back thing. Take a breath, relax and deepen as much as you want. 
And then chin towards your chest and release your arms into mountain pose. And again, as you get into mountain pose, just feel your body. Turn your toes slightly to the side. Bend your knees over your toes, hands over your knees. Remember, no pressure, just positioning your shoulders over your chest. Stretch that spine nice and long, and then sink into the back bend. So the sitting bones go up and back, the ribs drop down, and you look to the front. Stretch through the back of your neck, though. Take a breath and deepen. Nice back bend. And then focusing on the pelvis, tuck the sitting bones down and forward to pull the ribs back, and look at the space between your toes. So a nice forward bend, landing that whole spine. Inhale, into the back bend. Exhale, into the front bend. And just do that a couple of times. Feeling that whole spine getting even more warmed up. And then the next time you're rounded forward, just come on back up, toes to the center, and again into the mountain pose. Take a moment. Bend your over your feet, spreading your toes, arms out at shoulder level, and stretch it out. Pivot at your hips and bring your body parallel to the floor and just stretch it out. Drop into ragdoll, slide your hands up under your knees on your shins, that halfway up stretch, everything straight. And then bending your knees, come all the way to the floor, you're on child pose, transition. Hips to your heels, hands, palms up, and forehead down. Just relax, take a moment to breathe, bring your knees together, get a good stretch on that lower back if you'd like. And don't forget to relax. And then bring your hands out to the front, right in front of your shoulders, and pivot up, separate your knees hip width apart, toes straight back, wrist elbows and shoulders lined up. So we're in table position. Get your spine as straight as you can. So make sure those ribs are supporting that lower back up towards your spine and heart. And your head and sitting bones are reaching away from each other. Spread your fingers. Get the whole palm supporting your wrists, elbows, shoulders lined up. Now remember, if your wrists are really sore, if you're in this position too long, you can do a couple of things. You can... Fold your, blank, your pad, your mat, and put the heel of the palm a little bit up so the wrist bend isn't quite so intense. Or if that's not enough, you can put your thumb inside and put the ring part of your fingers down so the back of your wrist is straight. And keep your spine as straight as you can in whichever position you're in for your table pose. And you can go back to those at any point, and you can just circle your wrist if you need to. And so again, table pose to start with. We're just going to do a little cat positioning since I'm wearing a cat shirt. So sitting bones back, crown forward. Everything straight to start with, just like when we were standing. And then drop your ribs, lift your sitting bones, and look slightly forward. So a little back bend as deeply into your spine as you want to. Take a breath. Just relax. And then tuck your sitting bones down and forward, lifting your ribs, tuck your chin slightly in, and forward bend, looking back toward your knees. So a nice rounded position for your spine. And then inhale back to neutral. So as you get back to neutral, again, you can circle your wrists or do another position for them anytime you need to. Stretch it out. We're going to focus on the upper back this time. So someplace between your neck and shoulder blades. Focus on a point along your spine and bring that point down toward the floor. Shoulder blades toward your waist. Lift the sitting bones. And so a little upper body back bend as you come into that position. So you're looking slightly forward, but not too much. Ribs are slightly dropping, but you're really focusing on that heart area coming down toward the floor. And just feel that upper body back bend intensify just a little bit more than when you did it the normal way. And then take that same heart area point up toward the ceiling into your forward bend, tucking the sitting bones and top of the head down. 
They're really arching up through that upper body. And then again, inhale and come back to neutral. You just feel a little bit more circulation in that upper area of your back. And then take your focus down between your waist and hips to the lower back. And we're going to put that point down toward the floor. So just sink it down into the back bend, really in that lower back intensify. Sitting bones up, chest slightly forward, shoulder blades toward your waist, toward your waist always, and looking slightly to the front. So a little lower back, more into the back bend this time. Just feel it. Imagine it if it doesn't seem to be really doing it for you. And then that lower back area, arch it up. So sitting on tuck down and forward, that lower back really reaches high, just feel it. Tuck your chin slightly in, top of the head down toward the floor, pressing evenly into your hands and knees as you lift that lower back into the forward bend. And again, as you inhale back to neutral, just feel where that circulation maximizes in that lower back part of your body. And again, coming into your neutral spine position, stretch it long. And we're going to focus this time at the solar plexus. So it's between your ribs, beneath your sternum, and above your navel. So right at that midpoint, soft area of your belly, you're going to focus on that this time. So again, starting in your table position, elbows, knees, and elbows, Wrists, elbows, and shoulders lined up. Knees and toes lined up right aligned with your hips. Solar plexus drops down into the back bend. So coming right in the middle part with those ribs dropping, sitting bones lifting, chest lifting, looking slightly forward. So feel that middle part of your body evening things out into the back bend. And then solar plexus comes up, sitting bones and head drop down. And again, really lifting through that midsection of your belly as you come into the forward bend. And then inhale and come back to neutral. And again, anytime you do, you can go ahead and circle those wrists. Stretch it long. And we'll do a side stretch now in table position. So keep the spine stretched long. Exhale and turn looking toward your foot on one side. Feel the ribs open on that opposite side, hip and shoulder coming toward each other. Take a breath, just relaxing. And then exhale, turning back to the center. Stretch long and turn to the other side. Keep the spine nice and straight and just feel that lateral motion along the spine as the hip and shoulder come close and that opposite rib area stretches apart. Exhale and come back to the center. And again, in table position, feel free to adjust your positioning of your hands or circle those wrists as we get ready for a nice twist position. So we'll do our threading the needle twist. So you want to keep your spine straight and open. We're going to take the left hand palm up between your right knee and hand. And then slide that out and come down on your head and shoulder, not your neck. So the hips are up and you're in a little mini twist. If this is a good twist for you, stay there. Perfectly good twist. You can rotate the elbow on the palm down hand up a little bit more. That makes it a little bit more upper body twist. Or no, always your personal choice. And then if you want a little bit more in the lower back, you can keep the head and shoulder on the floor and hand down and move your right foot near your left hand and push out through the heel. That will give you a little bit more twist in that lower back. If that puts you off balance, don't do it. Just keep that knee on the floor. If you like that, you can go to the third level, bringing the right arm above your shoulder and keep the palm open toward the ceiling as you roll your head toward the back and look toward that hand or up toward the ceiling, coming into a deeper middle back twist through the shoulder area. So always your choice, your body. Don't go too far. And this, if you go too far in it, it gets balancy and you can fall. So do be careful. Take a breath. If you're in the full third level position, push the heel and hand away as much as you'd like for a little bit more intensity. 
or just be gentle. Always whatever's right for your body. And then taking the hand in the air back down, you raised it up, put it back on the floor where it started. Take the leg back, knee to the floor, back where it started, if you move that leg out. And then pressing into your right hand, unthread the needle, and come back into table position, getting ready to notice how that twist energy moves through your body. And, of course, we're going to balance and twist to the other side. Now I'm just turning around so I can talk a little more easily to the camera. So again, wrist, elbows, and shoulders are lined up. Knees, hips, and feet are lined up. That spine is nice, straight, and stretched open for a twist. And then the right hand comes through, head down toward the floor, and shoulder and head supporting you. Elbow up toward the ceiling if you want to or not, your choice. Stay there, perfectly good twist, or move your foot out if you want to do that lower back version. And foot is near the left, foot is near the right hand, and your head and shoulder are still supporting you on the floor, not your neck. Just go as deeply or not as you want to go. Take a breath there, stay there, or third level, the left hand comes up, palm toward the ceiling, moving that hand behind you slightly as you roll onto the back of your hip. And again, only go as far into the twist as your body wants. You can be at level one, two, or three, or any combination thereof that works for you. Take a breath. Maximize or minimize. Remember, twists are personal practice. Do what's right for your body. Exhale any tension. Heel in hand, push away if you want to maximize. And don't forget to breathe. Exhaling any tension. And when you're ready to release, if your hand is up, bring it back down to the floor. If your leg is out, bring the knee back in. Press into the hand slightly as you unthread back into table position. Hands and knees aligned, spine stretching up. And then sink your hips back toward your heels, spread your hands forward, bring your forehead down toward the floor, and circle your wrists. Getting anything that's still tight, release it. Exhale any tension. And then inhale, sitting up and slide off, bringing the legs back to the front and into staff position. Take a breath, sitting bones behind you, spine stretching apart, exhaling any stress or tension. And let's, um, well, let's do a diving dolphin. So bring your foot, right foot to the inner left thigh, knee out to the side. Stretch up, keep that core activated, supporting your spine, and stretch the spine apart. And bring the left heel back near your left hip. So this hip will be up because we want to twist again. So stretch up through the crown, exhale, turn towards your right knee. Ribs in. Tuck your chin slightly, exhale forward, forehead toward the knee, diving down. And then rotate your face forward, lifting your heart, coming up as you breathe in the sun and the sky. You're the dolphin. Just go ahead and rotate, exhaling down and inhaling up a few times, feeling that whole spine really working. And then the next time you're on the inhalation at the top, Exhale and turn back to the center, releasing your legs into staff position. Feel your core, feel your spine with all that twist energy moving through you, getting ready, of course, to dive our dolphin the other way. So sitting bones behind you, shoulders back and down, spine stretching open, foot to your inner thigh, knee out to the side, and then bending your right leg, heel back near your hip. And again, space under the hip so you can turn and twist, stretch that spine apart, and exhale, turning toward the left knee. Ribs in, tuck your chin slightly, get a nice rounded body as you exhale down under the water. And then inhale as you rotate your face forward and up toward the ceiling, coming to the sun and the sky. And again, just rounding down and arching up, Breathing with it, exhaling under the water, inhale, 
or leaping like a dolphin toward the sky. And again, when you get to the top, exhale around to the center and release your legs into staff. Bring them to the end of the mat, activate your core, and slowly roll to the mat. Now to get all the way down, just take a moment, reclined integration, let your body totally relax, getting ready for our final relaxation. So sitting bones slightly toward your heels, press your back slightly down, and then just let it neutralize, a little arch to that lower back. Turn your hands, palms up, slightly away from your hips. Let your shoulders sink down and your heart open. Move your neck, chin side to side. You can roll it down toward your chest and over to each shoulder, letting that neck area release as you get ready. Totally relax. Toes toward each other. And then again, relaxing, releasing, letting your whole body sink into that surface beneath you. Take a breath, exhale, and just let your body grow heavy, sinking deep into that earth support beneath you, and let your body go completely, relaxing every muscle. As your body releases into the earth embrace, just let awareness of your body release from your attention. And as those thoughts drift away, just let thoughts of your body Many other thoughts coming to you, released from your mind. Breathing deep, sinking your body. Just let your mind float free without paying attention to the content of your thoughts. Forget the past. Don't worry about the future. Just let the thoughts float in and out like your breath without attention. And as your body relaxes more with each breath, your thoughts flow freely without awareness. Just let your attention turn inward, finding peace deep within. And fill your body with peace. Fill your mind with peace. And just take a few moments being peace. Just allowing your body to keep softening and your mind to keep drifting if you have more time to relax. Or if it's time to get ready for the rest of your day, just begin drawing energy and awareness back to the mind, to the room, to your body, with your breath. And as you breathe more fully, just begin moving your body gently, however it feels good for you today. Breathing more fully and stretching more completely. Get ready for that final yoga hug of appreciation. And when you're ready, press your sitting bones slightly toward your heels, and then bring your heels toward your hips. Knees up toward your heart, and wrap your arms around, and give yourself that appreciative yoga hug. Let your body know you appreciate its yoga work today, and the work your body does for you every day. And when you're ready to release, Bring your head and feet to the floor. Roll over to the side and sit back up, getting ready for the rest of your day today. Thanks for joining me.